Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo and today we will be taking a look at and reviewing the brand new Samsung M8 Smart Monitor. Now I do want to give a big thank you to Samsung for sending this monitor out. I am not getting paid for this review, was not given any talking points, just a monitor to give you guys my honest opinions and review of the M8 itself. Now currently the Samsung M8 is sitting on my gaming desk. This is where I've had it connected with Samsung Dex. I've also had it connected with the Xbox One X, playing some games. So from my experience, the Samsung M8 is perfect for really any room. If it's in a desk or office environment, or maybe in your kid's room, or even a living room or kitchen, it has everything built in for all of the streaming services. So you have Samsung TV Plus, you'll also have your Disney Plus, your Netflix, Peacock, uh, Paramount Plus, Apple TV, anything that you would use for streaming services is all built in. Now, if any point in this video you guys are interested or curious to learn more about the Samsung M8, I'll place a link below the video inside the description. Now, taking a look at Samsung.com at the additional colors and the price difference, you'll notice that the color of white is at $599.99, which is the one that I have. That means you'll have the white stand, the white chin, and the white back. Now, there are additional colors such as green. You also have pink and blue. Now these accented colors will go towards the color of the chin as well as the stand. Now the rear portion, the back panel of the monitor will always stay white. And then the price difference of getting either green, pink, or blue is only a $30 price point. So you're looking at either 600 versus 630. The Samsung M8 is a 32 inch Ultra HD 4K smart monitor. It does have streaming TV as well as a slim fit camera. Now with that 32 inch display, you will have HDR 10 plus. The aspect ratio is 16 by nine, unless if you turn on that ultra wide game view, then you unleashed that 21 by nine. This one is a flat display. And then for all of you gamers out there, it does have game mode along with flicker free with the frame rate max at 60 hertz. And since it is 4K, the resolution is 3840 by 2160. And you also have the brightness at 400 nits with the minimum brightness at 300. Now the operating system is running Tizen, which means it is equipped with not only Bixby, it's also equipped with Alexa. It works with the Google Assistant and it has the SmartThings hub built in. Now the unboxing and setup is super simple. Here you'll have your base along with that adjustable stand. And all you have to do is place that adjustable stand on the base and then attach it with a screw on the bottom. There is your micro HDMI to the full HDMI output. You also have your power cable with that power adapter. And then also a type C cable, which will be able to give 65 watts power to pretty much anything that you plug in. And then you also have your attachable camera, which you can either have the lens cap on the front for privacy or on the back when it's in use. Then you'll have your slim remote, which will have pretty much all the buttons necessary for all of your streaming services. Also the volume up, volume down, the channel up, channel down, power, and your speech button. On the back of the monitor is your micro HDMI port, two USB type C ports, and the power port. You also have your little nub that you can turn on and off the monitor and go through the settings. On the very top will be your camera attachment. Now attaching the monitor to the stand is super simple and easy. Once you fit it in, you snap it in and you are done. Now the weight of the base and the stand is a perfect counterweight for you to adjust the height of the stand. Here you can see just how thin the profile is. And then again, you'd be able to adjust the, the angle either forwards as well as backwards. And again, uh, it just looks great. Now, I love the fact that the camera is attachable. That means that you can completely take it off or put it back on. Now, this one is a very slim camera and it does move up and down also with that privacy cap. So you can either have it on the front or you can have it on the back if you are using it. Now, if you're using Google Duo, you can either flip the camera up and down as you see, or you can bring the, the monitor up or down with the adjustable stand. Now going back to the remote, you do have that speech button on the very top right hand side, which does make it easy to switch your sources, but I wish for an improvement that there would be a source button included on the remote itself. And then one last thing I would say for an improvement is I wish that there was a handle on that stand for simple movability throughout the house. On my BenQ, I do have that handle on the very top and I love the portability. Now getting into a settings mode that I have not seen from any other online reviewer, and that is the game mode settings. If you press and hold on the play pause button, you can change your response time settings from standard 
faster to extreme. You can also change your game picture mode based on the games you are playing. If it's standard RPG, RTS, FPS, sports, and custom, you'd also be able to change into that ultra wide game mode. And heading into that sound output, this is where you can change between the smart monitor speakers or if you have any attached Bluetooth speakers, then you can go inside of the help guide and more additional game settings. This is where you have that response time again, surround sound, game motion plus settings, and the game HDR. Now the motion plus settings is either turning on and off the game motion plus or changing the judder reduction. Now getting into the DEX mode, which this is one of the main reasons to get this monitor other than streaming is that you can use it as a PC-like experience. So right now I have DEX mode that is being done via wireless. Now through here, you can go through your phone settings. You can open up different menus. You can have multiple screens open at the same time. You're gonna have all of your settings on the very bottom right hand side. If you've never played with DEX before, you can go through your phone settings. And then here's the rest of the settings that also includes the Samsung DEX settings itself. If there's any adjustments that you would like to change inside of DEX mode. Now going through the smart monitor user interface, the very top will be search. Now through search, this is where you can find movies, TV shows, apps, as well as more. You can also see your search history on the bottom. Next up is the workspace menu. So anything you have already previously connected, such as laptop or your phone, that's where you can go through, or you can start from new and you can attach a Windows PC, Mac, or go into the Samsung DeX setup process. So here's an example of using a Windows PC that is connected. So this one is wirelessly done. And when you go inside of the setup of your Windows PC, you will download a plugin. And then once you have it all downloaded, you can connect again to that PC. And from here, you can either have it as a duplicate screen, so so it's kind of like a mirrored screen, or you can have it as a extended desktop. So if you are working from home and if you wanted to have your Windows uh, or Mac computer connected with a additional extended screen, this is one of the things you're able to do, or you can go back to that duplicate, maybe if you're doing some presentations. And here is the main screen. This is your media menu. This is everything that is of your movies, your streaming services, all on one little page. Now, as you can see, I am removing a few of these icons. And in order to do that, you just want to hover over that streaming service icon, press and hold on the center button. And this is where you have the option to either move or remove. Now I'm just customizing my home screen for my needs. It's very simple to do. And then once you're done with that, if there's a few applications that you also want to take a look at to maybe add to the home screen, you can click on apps. You can search through the editor's choice. You can take a look at everything that is brand new, a bunch of the different downloaded applications. And there's also a bunch of things for time killers, smart life, videos, sports, games, lifestyle, information, and education. And then lastly will be everything inside of the menu between the settings settings, the connected devices, and multi-view. So through settings, you can go to all of the settings in one screen if you want, or you can scroll along the bottom. You can change the sound profile. You can change your picture profile. You can change the input device managers. You can go through the captions and pretty much everything that you see there on the bottom. Now going back to the all settings menu. So through here, you can change the settings of your picture, sound, connection, game mode, things like that. Through the picture mode, you have dynamic, standard, movie, and filmmaker mode. And then right below that, you will be able to have eye care, expert settings, and then you'll have the next menu, which is sound. So through sound, you can change the sound output if it's through your speaker, and you can also amplify the sound or through Bluetooth. There is your connection settings, so such as your network and Wi-Fi. Inside of the general and privacy, down through there, you can go inside of your voice settings, and through there, you can change your voice assistant if you want it to be Bixby or Amazon Alexa. And going through that connected devices settings, that's where you can find smart things settings, Samsung TV Plus, whatever source you have plugged in, either Xbox or Blu-ray player and also the Samsung Slim Fit camera. Now through the camera, this is where you can choose multiple different options. And you can also see the angle of the camera here that I was talking about, uh, where you'd have to change the height of the adjustable height of the stand. And you can also change the height of the camera if you needed to go lower or higher. I wish that it can maybe sit a little bit higher on the monitor. So if you can push down further, it can go a little bit further down. The only other option you have is just to bring the height adjustable of the stand down, but you are able to use Google Duo. You can also view a workout and you can also play along with the workout and it'll keep track of everything you do. Now, this is the multi-screen option. So this is where if you wanted to, you can work out with some YouTube videos and then the camera can pick you up to where either you can watch yourself 
or you can set it up to where the camera will be able to test and take a look at your performance. It'll take a look if you are doing the jumping jacks or push-ups, if you're actually you know doing everything as full movement or half movement. And the camera is face detective, so it'll be able to move around if you are also able to move around. And then outside of working out with the multi-view setting, this is where you can choose what setup you would like to use. So for example, on this one, I have the Xbox plugged in. I have that screen on the left and then YouTube on the right. You can also change the sizes. So I had my game mode, you know, playing Xbox a little bit larger than YouTube. Maybe I'm just listening to YouTube on the right hand side. And then this is where you can change also the volume between the two screens. So what do you guys think about the Samsung M8? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, thank you to Samsung for sending this monitor out. If you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later